Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are diving into the head-to-head -head comparison between two of NVIDIA's most powerful GPUs, the RTX 5090 and the, the RTX 4090, while running Black Forest Flux 1.dev, a cutting-edge text-to-image AI model. We'll talk about the performance running Flux 1. Let's get into it. Firstly, let's compare the key hardware specs for VRAM and the memory bandwidth. The RTX 5090 packs 32 gigabytes of GDDDR7 with nearly 1.79 terabytes per second of memory bandwidth. By contrast, the RTX 5090 comes with 24 gigabytes of GDDDR6X at about 1.01 terabytes per second. More VRAM and faster bandwidth means the 5090 handles larger model and the complex themes more efficiently. For tensor cores and AI performance, the 5090 features the next generation fifth tensor cores. It's great for AI tasks. Before we dive into the benchmarks, here is my setup and the PC spec. It has an Intel CPU and a system RAM of 48GB. The GPU is Astro 5090, which has 32GB of VRAM. For the operating system, I use the Linux Ubuntu 24.04. Before we do the actual comparison, Let's see how much VRAM and the power does 5090 use for running the flux.dev model. On the right side, there is a monitoring for the GPU and the, the RAM. We can see that it uses around 530 watts. VRAM is around 26 gigabytes. It's quite fast, about 8 to 9 seconds for 20 steps. From end to end, about 9.8 seconds to generate one image. Now let's do a direct comparison between the RTX 5090 and the 4090. We put them side by side. On the left side is the 5090, on the right side is the 4090. We use the same model and the same prompt for both left and right side. And uh, we can see that uh, both 5090 and 4090 are generating the image really fast. We can see that uh, from the terminal, it showed us the speed difference, and we can do a direct comparison. We use the iteration per second. For the 5090, it's 2.14 iteration per second. On the right side, for the 4090, it's 1.69 iteration per second. We can compare the progressing bar on the left and the right side to compare them directly. And we can see that uh, for the 5090, it has uh, increased 27% uh, over the 4090. I think that's a really nice boosting from the previous generation card. All right, I hope you find this video useful. Please let me know what do you think and uh, what do you want to run on 5090 in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel for future content. Thank you. Goodbye.